Thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking about homozygous versus heterozygous alleles. This is going to be a pretty quick video, but I wanted to make it for you guys because I know it can be a tricky topic. Let's start by breaking down the terms. Anytime you encounter the term heterozygous, you should know that it's referring to two things being different or distinct from one another, whereas homozygous refers to two things being the same. Basically, hetero equals different and homo equals same. Right, the same is true when referring to alleles. Using letters to represent alleles and referring to the most taught case of dominant versus recessive alleles, two lowercase letters, such as little b, little b, would be a homozygous set of alleles. In this case, homozygous recessive. A big B, big B, would also be homozygous, but would be homozygous dominant because it's the dominant allele. A pairing of big B, little b would be heterozygous. You wouldn't assign dominant or recessive to the last pairing because it's the only heterozygous option, so it needs no further distinction. All right, let's do a quick recap. In dominant versus recessive alleles, if the two alleles are the same, the alleles are homozygous, the uppercase being homozygous dominant and the lowercase being homozygous recessive. If the two alleles are different, one uppercase, one lowercase, then it's heterozygous, just heterozygous. All right, I hope this clears up any confusion on the topic. Uh, throw any additional questions you have in the comments, and be sure to watch my other videos and share them with your friends. I'll catch you next time.